Okay. So going up this ladder, not the most sturdy ladder I've ever used. This plywood is not rated. It's not the same thing as half inch plywood, uh, half inch drywall, excuse me, um, for fire blocking, uh, draft stopping. The ladder, the uh, Oh. Are you going to stay? Let there be. The ladder hardware was supposed to have been nailed, fastened with nails instead of screws. The luminary should have a cage around it in case it breaks. So there's that. We got plywood roof decking. That's why it felt like a mattress when I was up there. Okay. Loose fill fiberglass. Oh, man. Let's see what we got here. Okay. This rafter has a big knot hole in it on the stress side of the rafter. We got some water stains. Been looking at. Digging around in my pocket. I guess I could have been a little better prepared. I guess I got another pocket. Okay, it looks like we got a little propping up. It did over there on that hip ridge down there. See that? Look at that. It's kind of handy. I can do a better job than that. I thought I could. Neat. Look what's peeking up like the Loch Neck, Loch Neck, Loch Ness monster. Okay, that's air conditioning duct. That's gray sheath air conditioning duct manufactured by Corning in the 1980s. It was recalled. It was a big class action lawsuit that's been settled. There's no money left. This air conditioning duct is obsolete. Look, all the insulation's gone off of it right there. See, that's what happens. It dries up in an attic environment and then it all peels off and you lose your um, insulation qualities. And it's just a bad deal. All of the air conditioning supply duct needs to be replaced. It's just not going to perform for you like it should or would. Okay, so we got a little bat over here. Some of the insulation's down. Now, when I see that this air conditioning duct has been covered, all right, with insulation, I know this insulation has been added. And what I don't know is if they took it out, if they um, vacuumed out the old insulation. But I doubt it because I'm not seeing any uh, baffles for the soffit vents. I'm seeing some big old hairy mouse traps. Little hairy mouse traps, that's what I'm seeing. Can I get up here? I'm gonna try. You know what happened to me? I find my skeleton up here. I'm not walking across the rafters and all that. So I don't know what kind of insulation is underneath there. I doubt. Well, here's a clue. No, they didn't replace the insulation. They just put old insulation, new insulation on top of old insulation. We got 
some of our rafters are we've got some call a little bit of rafter spread separating right in there um, we're missing some of our collar beams some people go, collar ties the purlins okay they're undersized but we expect that in the 1980s and then any support member any strut it's longer than six feet. It should have a stiffener on it. They didn't do that in the 80s either. We see daylight. Remember the apron flashing from the roof video that was just before this one? You see the daylight. You think wind driven rain can get in there? I do. And you know, well, of course, we got a gable vent. I didn't know if that was real or not. So we got a gable vent. So we got three different types of exhaust vents. We didn't hardly have any. Hardly any air intake it's just a still up here you don't feel it even though I've got a fan and it's blowing and I can see wires coming off of that fan all right even though you got a motorized fan up here it's, it's still and hot there's another mousetrap and see these trail <laughs> you don't People did not make those trails. Mice made those trails. That's why those traps are there. So what did we learn? We learned that we put insulation on top of other insulation. Which is not technically wrong. It's not desirable. We do not have depth markers. We learned that we're missing a... Well, probably not. Probably not. I'm getting a little ahead. We learned that we got a little bit of rafter spread. We learned that we're missing some insulation next to the knee wall right there in the living area. We learned that our air conditioning duct is compromised. We learned that we've got a rafter that's got a big knot hole on the stress side of the rafter. We learned that.